क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन अ मैट्रिक्स अ वेक्टर टू बाई टू डी वैक्टर एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द मैक्सिम एरे ऑफ द एरिया ऑफ द आईलैंड सो इन दिस वी आर गिवन मेनी आईलैंड एंड आउट ऑफ दोज दोज आईलैंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द आईलैंड विद द मैक्सिम एरिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस यू कैन सी दिस इज द जीरो रिप्रेजेंट वॉटर एंड वन रिप्रेजेंट आईलैंड सो देर आर टू आईलैंड यू कैन सी बट द एरिया ऑफ दिस आईलैंड इज ओनली वन वेर एज द एरिया ऑफ दिस आईलैंड इज थ्री सो वी नीड टू फाइंड वी नीड टू रिटर्न थ्री सो द अप्रोच विल बी विल बी यूज विल बी यूजिंग टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इज नथिंग बट डी एफ एस टेप फॉर सर्च इन दिस विल जस्ट आई ट्रेड एंड विल सर्च फॉर वन वेन वी आर गेटिंग वन सो एट दैट पॉइंट विल बी कन्वर्टिंग दिस टू जीरो देन विल बी ट्रावर्सिंग टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट राइट अप एंड डाउन द रीजन वी आर ट्रावर्सिंग इन ओनली इन द फोर डायरेक्शन इज बिकॉज दे हैव गिवन दैट आईलैंड इज ओन आईलैंड कैन ओनली बी फॉर्म इन दिस फोर डायरेक्शन अदरवाइज देर देर मे बी पॉसिबिलिटी दैर द आईलैंड कैन बी फॉर्म एज डायगनली बट इन दिस केस देर इज देर इज नो सच मैंशन सो आफ्टर कन्वर्टिंग दिस टू जीरो विल गो डाउनवर्ड्स एंड एट दैट एट दैट पॉइंट विल जस्ट increase our counter and after reaching this we'll again convert this zero into zero and we'll go rightward we'll convert zero and at the end we'll just uh, make uh, take this count because at this point the count will be 3 and when it goes to the main we'll just take the maximum of those all the count which we'll be getting after traversing all the elements okay so we'll start with our boundary conditions like if uh, there is no element which means that the size is 0 in that case we we'll just return 0 and uh, and now we'll just check for 1 so we'll use nested for loop for that and is nothing but uh, three dot size For me, in a loop, we'll run our J. So it's equal to zero. J less than great of zero dot size. J plus plus. Now we'll check for one. So we'll just give a condition like if a grid of i comma j is equal to 1 so in that case we'll make a new variable t which will be will be using this functions for my finding the maximum area we'll call that function dfs function so here goes grid our index i and j <coughs> now we'll be storing our maximum into a new variable max t so in every iteration it will check whether the a para a maxim whether the area of the island is maximum or not so the maximum will be taken between the max t and the t variable Now at the end, at the very end, we'll just return over next year. We'll first declare max t equal to zero. Now we'll make a new function, DFS function. Uh, so basically this function um, will take 2d vector which is nothing but vector of vector int and here we are taking the address also because we are making changes in the vector itself so we'll be changing our 1 to 0 so that we 
do not include in counting for every iteration after that i hope you are getting so here first we'll check our binary conditions which are nothing but if i is less than 0 i is less than 0 or if uh, j is less than 0 or if i is greater than uh, grid dot size or equal to because we are starting our iteration from 0 or if j is greater than grid of zero dot size or our grid element is nothing but zero so in this all cases we will just return zero else if there is one so in that case we'll change over the variable from 1 to 0 now we'll return from return 1 from that particular iteration plus we we'll again call this function passing grid comma indexes so first we'll start our iteration towards down so i plus plus or i plus one now now we need to move towards up so in that case we'll just copy this We need to move in four directions, so we are using four iteration or four recursive recursions. So here it will go upward. Here it will go towards left. Here it will go towards the right. it looks good just we'll just run okay some minor error okay it works fine let's submit our code okay guys thank you for watching the video uh, so if you are watching or first time just go and subscribe to your channel it means a lot to me thank you for watching